Welcome everybody to another episode here of Beater and I Trying at Arcade Legacy. This is episode, we don't know because it's not up. 89, where are the, hold on, we're losing the, where, okay. I didn't do anything, but we're going to fix that real quick. This is episode 89 here at Arcade Legacy, and now this picture is not loading. Of course, the game picture we have is not loading. Uh, I'll fix that real quick. Um, episode 89 tonight, we are doing low G-Man first, uh, which I will show you this real quick while I'm fixing the appropriate error. Nothing is working. There we go. Low G-Man, the actual game ad for that. The funny thing about that ad there, if you look at those are actually the exact same graphics and engine from uh, G.I. Joe. Yeah, same company. I did not know that at the time. Pretty cool. So let's see if we get that uh, intro coming up. Nope, it's done. It is completely dead for no reason. All right, well, whatever. We'll just skip that. I'll fix it, I'll fix it later. Um, all right, so episode 89. Here we go. Jesse's taking it off first. Yeah, let's, let's show him the intro here. It was a robot producing exploration planet like any other. Large cities. Beautiful sunsets. That's not even beautiful at all. But then they came. We'll send in low G-Man. And that's that. This game is hard, people. The game. Yeah. That's the game. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, there's yeah. more. Shoot, that's all I practiced. Crap. I agree, Rizio. This is a very unique scrolling mechanic in the game. Welcome, beloved slacker, to Rizio. That sucks. They're, oh, shoot, two of them. They actually have a potion that takes your energy in this game. That's the red. Wow. I Which, when you see a boss later on, you're going to be like, what? <laughs> because there's a boss that fully utilizes that. So, for the people who don't know how to play this game, Jesse. Why do they keep doing that? No! I've never seen them give that many reds like that. Wow. They just hate me right now. So, I love the mechanic. That's, that's a G.I. Joe toy right there, obviously being used. Ah! Missing all the good stuff. Yeah, I mean, if they made the engine, they are like, ah, let's do something else with it. Yeah. Why not? Let's make a, let's make a game where you jump a lot. Now, for those that don't know how to play this game, you actually have to shoot the enemy first and stun them, and then kill well, them. Well, you don't pick. have to. It's just safer. Do the actual bullets hurt them? Yeah. Oh. Oh, no, the bullets don't, but you can, spe you can spear them without... Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's... That, that thing doesn't make any sense. That's obviously a snowmobile, but... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the guy gets free, climbs in his little hole, and he, that, I, that's the always sunny in Philadelphia guy. Charlie climbing into, the, <laughs> into the, the ventilation shaft for freedom. You can still hit him. They just don't freeze. If, and you can actually run. If you double tap, you can run. So if you watch a, if you watch a speed run of this game, they do it in 10 minutes. Wow. Because they just basically run through the whole thing after they've powered the guy all the way up. Or not a speedrun, a, a TAS. Okay, here we the go. impossible run. I hate run. this boss. I hate this boss. It's such a... ridiculous. Yeah. You gotta, like, stun him and then just basically get on top of the step in the head till he dies. That's it! Level 2! Chapter 1-2. 
It does have a great uh, boss. An actual. There we go. Metalhead. Here he is. But you gotta stun these platforms, which makes no sense. Jump up there. An NES game. Bubbles don't hurt. Doesn't count. You make the bubbles disappear. They stop shooting. I didn't know you were doing that. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's Metalhead. Metalhead. Metalhead is dead. Well, there's a boss at the end of every stage. Nah. And these guys spawn at different places. Like, when you get to them, sometimes they're high, sometimes they're low, so it's hard to actually judge where they're going to be. No! He actually kind of looks like the Winter Soldier from that Captain America movie. <laughs> Spoiler alert! Yeah, he kind of does. They're gonna rebrand it. This was the Winter Soldier game. That's what this was. This is the Winter Soldier game, and they wouldn't take it, so they said, "Screw it, we'll just use GI Joe as engine." Move on. No. Ah. Come on. Yeah, you don't really need to kill anything. Uh, once you're powered up, you, you can go past everything if you want. But you, if you collect a bunch of power, you, you really want all these extra weapons for the final boss. You don't have to use them hardly at all throughout the game. <laughs> it's kind of silly. I mean, you can, but the most powerful weapon is your, your spear. Uh, you can do either way. It'll automatically do it after a certain amount of time, or you can press select and it'll... Wouldn't be an NES game without a flying mutant shrimp fight. <laughs> yeah. Well, none yeah. of them look too hard. Yeah, Beloved Slacker, the music of this game is actually pretty good. Takes a lot of hits. Plus, I don't have the I don't have the, the most powered up spear yet. He would have already been dead if I did. I didn't even power up the spear. Yeah, it gets it gets longer, so each one would take more hits. Ah, okay. Ah, jeez. He just takes a lot of hits. Is Paxton still around? I don't think so, man. It's got five levels, right? Five stages. Uh, there's five, yeah, the, the, all of them have three substations. Three but, except yeah. for the last one, just two. Everything in the 80s and then the aliens, I love it. <laughs> Enough. I don't mess around, Mike. When I'm when I claim a game, I'm there to show people how to play it. Ah! You should have seen him play Cliffhanger. He destroyed it. Last Action Hero. I'm not joking with that game. Ah! Is that coming up soon? Yeah, no, I did it. Oh, you did? Oh. That must have been one of the ones when you were gone. I killed it. This is just a weird boss. It's like a floating it head is. on a. <laughs> A snake body is. It reminds me of Uni Racers. Oh yeah. I <laughs> oh, God. There's a, there was one that color. I want to get it when it's lower like that. That's... Come 
Come on, let's just finish you off. Get over here. Ah! Dorizio said with the NES cliffhanger, it deserves to be destroyed, literally. <laughs> <laughs> Alright! Stage 2-2, two, two, take it down. 2-2! Two, two. Now, stage 2-3, the, the submarine boss. Yeah, so you can get you can get extra hits if you time it right. See if I can get the little cheat secret. Not really cheat, but they give you a little... It's Mario 2, everybody! Just <laughs> skip it! Just skip it! He's low G, man! He's supposed to jump! Ah. The red are the bad ones, right? The reds are the bad, the, the, the purples are the goods, yeah. Master Master, you're right. <laughs> Um, Erizio, Tax and I believe, uh, did develop this and publish it. I'm pretty sure, well, Nintendo published it, I think, through their system, but I believe Tax and did actually develop this. They have, um, I'll show you the ad again at the end of the game. Uh, they, they did both G.I. Joe games and a bunch of other stuff, too. I obviously can't tell. This is the G.I. Joe engine. Ugh! Make so many hits at first. As you, as the boss lose life, it takes less gunshots to freeze him. That's how it goes. Like, you'll notice, you'll notice some bosses, they only take one hit once you get to, uh, down to the end of their life. That's how you know you're killing them, really. There we go. That guy's pretty easy. On the stage 3-1. This stage took me the longest to get down. Ah! I like this game, actually. I hated it at first. That's, uh, invincibility. This would be an interesting game for an HD remake. Is that- who's that? That is the, the big-headed guy that shoots lasers if you don't freeze him quick enough. Who's the silver Giant server? shockwave. Uh... Modoc? No, not Modoc. Uh, it could be Modoc. I was gonna say it's the head of, um... Who made the silver surfer? Ah. Come on, sci-fi comic nerds. Who made the silver surfer? Galactus! Galactus is dead. Ah! Give me some. There we go. Uh, no, beloved slacker, the shots will only stun the enemies. Uh, they spear yeah, them, right? It'll come right back. Yeah. After a certain amount of time. Yeah. So he's got to kill him with the spear. Head of a sentinel. <laughs> yeah, floating sentinel. Sentinel head. online. So far, we still got beloved Slacker and Arizio. Two viewers for two games. <laughs> There's probably more than two. Oh yeah. Well, according to the chat, it's only two so far in the chat. Oh well, yeah, you got to look at the. Yeah. Lot, not everyone signed in. It tells you at the top how many actually there are. Yeah, there's more than two. That, I guess that is the boss. Yep. Wow. Uh, <laughs> that stage used to take me like 20 minutes. Scene two. Purple Mountains. Ah. This stage used to take me a while too. It's got the Mega Man Hopper. Oh, 
Uh, those are the things that extend your weapon or your, um, I don't know, not your, oh, your jump, yeah. And those are for your weapon, and those are for your gun. Gun only has level three power up, right? That's his highest. Yeah, level. everything level three. Energy. Normally you don't need to go down here if you have enough energy, but this is the hardest boss. You'll see why. I mean, it, it, it's easy once you figure it out, but man. Welcome so you, to John Michael. Remember how, you remember how the red things uh, take your energy? Yeah. Watch this boss. No, no, this isn't the boss. It's the next one. This boss is stupid easy. Get over the, ah, the ah, egg ah. quick enough. First weapon change of the game. Whoop. The boss is born. It's yeah. say, that's a contra very, too. Very <laughs> contra. But yeah, this is really dumb. Because that's it. Wow. Yeah, actually, he usually shoots. There you go. He usually shoots a whole bunch. There we go. He just wasn't shooting. Not impressed. <laughs> John Michael says, "Wow, hard boss." <laughs> hey, they're all hard at first. What? What did I get hit by? Oh, oh. that's all right. Come on. Put that fooling around. We got a lot of vertical scrollers tonight. After this, folks, we got Kid Icarus, which is also going up, 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 up. Oh, I need that. Nah, it goes away. Oh, come on. It doesn't matter, this boss is also very easy if you do it right. Hey, welcome, Spooey. Uh, what you missed is you watched Jesse annihilate and kick, uh, Kickmaster. Low G, man. That's alright. I got a plan. Don't you worry. It's all calculated. Yes, he's got the keys to the hovercraft. <laughs> I do. Don't let, don't let me out of it. And now there's the boss from Doom. Oh wow! <laughs> that doesn't kill it. Oh. You still have to go down there. No matter how many times you hit it here, this definitely makes it like crazy easy though once you get down there. At least I've never killed him this way before. There we go. Good. It's usually just 
two hits. <laughs> <for> one. <laughs> wow. Yep. There was that. <laughs> it's, this game is more about yeah, the game. There we there. go. True yeah. NES game. The Technodrill. Technodrill, right, yeah. You gotta climb on something and destroy some giant evil robot device with blinking ah! eyes of doom and death. That's the sole guard of the Technodrome. He's about to lose his job. <laughs> no! It's alright. Close. That, was, yeah. <laughs> that almost ended my bid for a perfect run. The energy zone. <laughs> ah! Jerk. Oh, got him close. Sometimes he jumps so high that it's hard to actually jump the, the, the small amounts you need to. <laughs> My jump is right now. He is low gravity man. Low gravity man was copyright. He's low G. What a horrible background. That's like something oh. a kid made in MSN. Pink. Yeah, yeah, that one sounded weird. <laughs> We will, we'll alert uh, people, we'll see what's up with this last week's episode not being uploaded to YouTube, John Mike. Maxwell Spirit! Ah, <laughs> oh, I thought I had him there. Yeah, that background is so weird. It yeah, makes no like sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why didn't you do it? It's both a tree and a robot, Spooey. It's a rare Trobot. Trobot. I don't think she has anything I can use except energy. Oh, wow. That's why I can jump so high. Ah. 
They ran out of memory on how to program plot from it. Screw it! This is the hardest boss. Oh, you dropped the potion that... Yeah, you. that's the potion that makes you lose energy. Where is he holding all that? the enemies, but they can only be hurt actually with the jab and the clues up and down. Nice! That, that one took does. me a while to figure out. <laughs> Yeah, it's, everything's harder. Just like every other game. I'm not oh, playing okay. the second class. Nice, nice. Alright, two more stages. Alright, I can do this now. This is the stage this is the stage where I tend to die for the first time. At least that's what's been happening lately. And you'll see why. They these guys just spawn randomly anywhere and they, they all throw out Ooh, that was helpful. You gotta try to kill those guys first. Man, I just okay. He's foolish, it's happening. Man. He's it's got happening. The... <laughs> hey, usually, He's got usually this. it's usually that like it really gets me. Yeah. Jesse's gotten it down. We'll be fine. We got other stuff. Hey man, well, if Brad shows up, then we can do more Godzilla. Yeah, that's what we all want to see, Godzilla! <laughs> well, we gotta finish it, you know? I want to see a race between Godzilla and Final Fantasy. Uh, and Nobunga's Alicia, or no, uh, no, ah, I can't say the name. No, not happening now. Not happening. No, there's one more after this. The last boss is a it's, it's a good boss. Like when you see it, they didn't they didn't uh, they didn't make it easy. That's for sure. Well, he, he, usually it's the beginning part that's hard. It's the all those guys shooting at you. But I got lucky and killed him quick. Yeah, definitely contra. The reason I'm saying if you want to after you beat the game, he has a password to go straight to the third uh, quest ending. <laughs> There's a third quest ending? Yeah. Third quest? Yeah, to see the best third quest ending. Alright, well, I guess we can do that. Yeah, sure, Reed said once he beats it, we'll try that one through the password and see what it is. Nah. Ugh. How many what? Five, uh, of what? No, he has 
unlimited ammo. Well, of the not of the special stuff, but yeah, of the. Say the game needs more cheese. The password is yes than a heart. Seriously. Uh, <laughs> what a lame password. Alright. See, when you're in these vehicles, if you get hit by stuff, it takes away the amount of time you have, so you can actually, you can die there just by, uh, by getting hit too much. See, like, it, it takes away my seconds that I have in the vehicle. Uh. But it doesn't take away any of your regular life. This is the, the last vehicle before the boss. You don't want to get hit by anything. Well, ah! Okay. We need the weapon that the vehicle has. What is that? Alright, so I'm pretty sure that's some kind of venereal disease right there. That's Oh yeah, that's right, I need to do this first. Oh yeah. It's that thing from the end of, uh, uh, Starship Troopers! Yeah, where am I at on time? I uh, wanna... You're at 8.33? Ooh, I'm gonna do it! I should be able to beat it in a quick time. Quicker than I've done before, but no doubt. Yep, all special. Now, this part can be hard only because if you hit that, um, if you hit any part of this up here, it knocks you off and you're dead. So you have to like, with how high he jumps, you have to just time your jumps. If you hit the, if you hit the yeah, if you hit the A button, we lost the sphincter. If you hit, if you hit the A button too hard here. You run into the, the Pepto Bismo stomach and done. This is like Preparation H Man fighting a hemorrhoid. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, what am I doing? Let's do this one. And the music starts over. This one goes quicker to use all these first. Yeah. Uh, like 18 bucks. Oh, that was close. Too close for counter. Oh, don't make me use my weapon. Oh, I guess I could use this. The boomerang makes its first appearance in the game. Yeah. I know, you do have to hit him a lot. I mean, it's the last boss. They're not going to make him super easy. There we go. That's it. Yeah. Done. What, are, what are we at? Uh, that would be 35 minutes. Well, plus the plus like the two minute intro. Yeah, two minute intro. So like 33 minutes. Yeah. Nice. It was a hard one fight. What? I don't know. But with patience, he breaks the fourth wall and just walks through anything. Yeah, right through. <laughs> it, it, it tells you about the secret hidden stages that I have no clue where they are. The galaxy is now safe. I mean, you're still undefeated, right? No, I've lost a couple things. 
I just haven't lost in a while. Well, Conan doesn't count. No one can beat Conan. That's it, right? Well, I had it beat. I just you laid. Do you oh. remember what happened? I laid down the. I laid down the. Uh, there's these little things you have to lay down to open up to get the weapon. And instead of laying it on the little spot, I laid it right next to it. And I missed, and you can never touch it oh. again. You can't pick it back up. <laughs> if you miss, game over. You have to reset. Maurizio saying, uh, well done, Blow Slayer saying, nice job. No death. No death from Low G Run. It was well worth it. Now, now once again, again, he walks among the mountains <laughs> as <laughs> Skylord. He but is the low gravity man, so basically he can just do what he wants. Peace, peace, roll <laughs> Seen this? This is the. These are the the secret bonus stages oh. that you can find somewhere. Oh. No, we have not seen that. Probably never will. Or even, or even this. this. They're actually show There's some like yeah, they show you what it's supposed to look what like. The There's the. Like it's like the too? demon, oh. demon fish, robot, <laughs> lobster. Two levels are hit. Thanks, game. Yeah. There's that creepy, weird paint, MS paint picture. Wow, that's even for Nintendo <laughs> standard. That, oh, man. Yeah, that's weird. Somewhere in this game, we wasted our childhood drawing. <laughs> that's like the producer's kid. Yeah, sure, Tim, you'll put in the game. Hide that. Hide that crap. Make it impossible to find. Find it. Yeah. No, I don't know where they are. We still got the password to see the third best ending. Yeah, let's do it. After this. The train is in level one, too. Oh, so well, it tells you... Somewhere in level one two is a secret. It's probably that part where you get the uh, you get the little spaceship that floats, and then you can go all the way to the top of the screen. I think. The battle is over. I was going for that speed though. Creepy in black and white. Yeah, yeah. Hope, Hope it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't, yeah, oh well. You got the spirit destiny. You're not You're done not yet. Dead. The game has just begun, cow. <laughs> Let's go! Okay, so... Scene 1A, okay, so they actually do... They, well, I think basically what it is is that everything takes more hits. Because those are usually... Oh, well, with that weapon they don't. But. Yeah, so let's put in the... Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't think it's that much harder. I think you just re literally have to go through the game and do it all again. The bullets seem to come out a little faster. Yeah, definitely. The bullets shoot faster. Oh yeah, that guy took two hits. Done usually. Hey! Watch everybody give you a red. No, no good potions at all. I'll just go through the first boss. I just want to see what the first boss does anything different. We have a little bit of extra time. It appears. Unless Brett's gonna make it. Hey, welcome, House of Grind. Uh, you just missed it. We just beat. Uh, low G man actually. Jesse just started in like 32 minutes, so he's now on the second quest. He's just around having fun. We're gonna put in a passcode for the uh, third best ending, and then we're gonna see uh, Kid Icarus. Ugh! Dang, they shoot way faster. Yeah, he shoot, I see he is shooting faster. Yeah, I almost didn't beat the first stage. That's pretty crazy. Ugh. Yeah. That would be a lot harder. Yeah, that's it. Interesting. All right, All right. So the password for the third best ending is Y-E-S heart. Oh, wrong way. Short, sweet. Hi, that's hurting my brain. All right, there we go. Y-E-S. And then a heart. Success! It was a hard one fight. This is supposed to be the best ending in the game. And this is different? Uh, Arizio, hey, what's up, House of the Grind? Arizio said it was the third best ending. No, it's the ending if you beat all three yeah, quests. Yeah, so if you the third quest, and it's the best ending. It probably ending. does all the same stuff, except for instead of you're not done yet, it's like, you did it! Find out. <laughs> no, Jesse actually played through it pretty easily. Uh, I actually destroyed it with no death kill. Watch the replay, uh, man! Watch the replay, yeah. Wait till tomorrow and watch the it replay. It was my shining moment! <laughs>
Matt, the No Death Isolated Warrior. What are we gonna do to get the, st the game audio in stereo? Oh yeah, we need a splitter. Where'd my splitter go? Uh. Here it is. There's that splitter. Hey, there. Whoa, that's not. Nice. <laughs> All right. Now we got some audio. Post All right. Now once again we watch the ending. Once again. Now it says one. <laughs> you said now once again. Peace rules all. It's a short ending. We we'll get oh. some JJ Abram lens flares. Put them cameras turn on. There we go. <laughs> Lens flare on Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> JJ Abrams' version of the ending. Yeah. <laughs> How to oh, make a Star man. Trek movie. Spock. Con. Lens flare. Hundred million dollars. Two levels are hidden. So I guess if you find the hidden levels, it'll like leave you alone. Are you sure this is the best ending, Aritzio? I mean, it looks exactly the same. Yeah, it, like I said, it's probably just that one screen. Yeah, you're right. Where instead of. You're sorry, I thought, he said sorry. I thought it might actually be a different ending. It might be like might be, one yeah. screen might be different. I hope it's just the d developer at the very end, like out in the cash, like there was no finger up. Like, <laughs> 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 Thank you, nerds. <laughs> I'm gonna spend it all on cocaine. It was the '80s. <laughs> Oh, finish the game. There you go. That's the difference? You finished the game, wow. Come on, give us a cool screen. Yes, that is so. Instead of saying, hope you had fun, it says, yes, yes that, that is so. Yes. If you think you're good, just wait for G.I. Joe! <laughs> That was good. Oh wow! That was worth it. End? Question mark? Nah, it's that was, I know, that no, was definitely worth it. I'm the, wow! If you think you're good, just wait for Gio. Now, okay, this should be the third. Let's see. It's not even shooting. Oh my gosh! How many hits does it take? What? Wow! Yeah, I had to hit it five or six times. That's a hell of a lot harder. Oh. No, six times. House of Grind saying, G.I. Joe. All right, so we're going to switch yeah. over now to All Kid right. Icarus, but I'm going to fix the game. Oh, now the game thing pops what? up. Pops up perfectly. That's so weird. Well, those are our games for the night. Plus, we got some others coming up. Uh, we have some special games, too. And, and Nathan yeah. Negathrust is going to come over here and do uh, and Kid Icarus yeah. with a special guest commentator. Oh, you want your cart? Yeah. And then, uh, Just use yours. Something even funny about Kid Icarus is the fact that... Uh, we had a third, another game planned for the night, but it wasn't quite ready yet. So I'm gonna show you the box out. There's the actual uh, ad for um, Low G Man. You can see they made Beret Fighter, Eight Eyes, Mappy Quest, Putt Master, whatever that, that is. That one didn't come out. Didn't you come can out? get a reproduction of that one. So uh, we do have this though, a brand new NES game that just came out. It is uh, Elevator Action, the Ray Rice Edition. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. What was the other one we were gonna do? Uh, Oh yeah, Ray Rice's Punch Out, but that one's that one's a beauty. And then uh, it, if we don't have time, or if Brett can't show up for Godzilla tonight, we'll have a pretty cool reproduction game to do. Show you the show you the uh, the art for it. Hey, Mohawk Mike! Don't keep that up yet. Don't keep that up. I won't. Okay. I'll wait till you're ready. All right. Well, hold on. We gotta <laughs> we got a surprise here, so we're this. keeping it on Ray Rice edition of Ele Elevator <laughs> Action. John Michael, you could have done Lone Ranger, but yeah. So wait, how long though? Because <laughs> <laughs> whoops, <laughs> <laughs> that was the wrong. I'm gonna put that up there. Uh, so yeah, anyway, uh, I think that should be good. Well, we're gonna test it real quick. Um, that should be good enough. Let's see. Is it working, Nathan? You want me to try mine? Mine was working earlier. Um, yeah. What's going on? Let me try my my NES Magic Touch. <laughs> 